hello traders welcome back to my youtube channel well if you've seen the today's market then you know how nifty and bank nifty reacted well nifty opened up negatively in the morning means gave down and thereafter it started falling down and at one point it stopped there and just started gaining and it has ended up at six points and if you've seen my yesterday's video in my yesterday's video i clearly told that nifty is going to go down or else if it will go positive as well also it will not go much up why because FIDS picture and open interest analysis this all things were saying the same thing that's why I did the prediction so today we are going to do the analysis again and we'll find out which stock moved the market whether FIS are dominating or DIS are dominating and what was option chain data was saying of bank nifty and nifty now let's do the analysis of nifty and bank nifty and let's start our analysis with chart if you will see here the nifty's chart the support is at 13422 where is the resistance resistance is at 13564 well why do i take the 15 minutes candle because i want to avoid false signal and why only i take 15 minutes not 30 minutes not one day maybe it can avoid more false signal yes you are right if you take the candle of one day or two day then it will avoid the false signal but still it will not give us the immediate support and resistance and we are doing intraday trading or maybe weekly trading if you are seeing the candle of daily then it will be the support and resistance of the month but we have to find out next support and resistance so i'm taking 15 minutes i cannot go lower than 15 minutes otherwise there will be a lot of false signal and we will not be able to predict our support and resistance clearly now let's go to bank nifty and find out support and resistance here if you see the support support is at 30374 and where is the resistance well resistance is at 30815 bank nifty is trading near its resistance and where nifty is trading well nifty is trading near its resistance as well and it is almost on the resistance if you see here here it is on its resistance itself so once it breaks its resistance definitely it is going to move up when i say break the resistance it means it should break after 10 o'clock it should not break between 9 to 10 because 9 to 10 many people do scalping and they take the sentimental advantage of the market now let's find out which stock moved the market greater than three percent or less than three percent so i did the analysis then i have come up with these three names bajaj finance bajaj finance services and aishir motor well why did bajaj finance gained 5.13% well it was consolidating after 24th of November and today it did break out and gained 5.13% if you see the Bajaj finance services well it was consolidating from 23rd November to 22nd December third it did break out and thereafter again it was consolidating or trading within the range and today again it did break out so this is true that whenever stock or index consolidate or trade within the range then definitely there is going to be a big move after that so you should find out support and resistance and take your trades accordingly and whenever you are taking the trades make sure that you are putting stop loss because if it has hit the resistance and it has break out the resistance then it should move up it should not move down again so if it is moving down definitely that is not the breakout and there your stop loss will be hit and you will be ending up with minimum losses so that's why you should put the stop loss as well if you see the Aishir motor well Aishir motor was continuously falling if you see the last whole month but if you see the auto sector what was happening in the auto sector auto sector started gaining post corona and this stock was continuously falling well then why did it gain 3.1 percent today what happened in this stock well every stock has its undervalued performance and overvalued performance so investors and traders they see the stock as an undervalued asset or overvalued asset so when it was falling down it has come into undervalued asset it means right now it is trading at its buying zone so buying zone is nothing but undervalued price so it was trading at undervalued price so investor thought okay this is the good price to buy Aishan motor then they put some investment and they bought some of the stocks of Aishan motor now when it will be in the selling zone it means overvalued price of the stock 
at that point it will become selling zone there they will sell the stock of Aishir Motor because auto sector was gaining it also moved up today because if everybody is doing a good performance in that sector it means some of the market share is going to go to Aishir Motor as well that's why they have invested and the stock gained today now let's move to the next and see which are the upcoming meetings are going to come tomorrow so if you see here these are the companies which are going to held meetings tomorrow well you should look out for the news because after these meetings definitely there is some news going to come so if that news is a good news definitely these stocks are going to gain and if the news is bad definitely these stocks are going to go down now let's go to next and see our events which may events occur today and what are the upcoming events as well so if you see here then on monday 15th of december is three events occurred so if you see the effect of these three events well there is not a much of the negative or positive news in this three balance of trade exports and imports that's why it didn't affect the market much if you see the 18th of december events then these are the events which are going to be held on 18th of december after market hours so definitely you should look out for these events on 18th of december as well because whichever stocks are going to be affected by these events in that events there will be a move and if you find out the move definitely you can take the advantage of that move now let's move to the next and find out nifty and bank nifty change and wix if you see the wix wix is 19.35 if wix is 19.35 it is low wix why it is low wix if wix is less than 25% it means it is low wix it means that less fear in the market means volatility is less it means that you can sell the options and make the money without any major losses now if you see nifty changed 0.07% today and it gained 9.7 points it has made a high of 13589.65 and low of 13447.05 it has ended up at 13567.85 well if you see the bank nifty it changed minus 0.18% and minus 54.85 negatively it has made a high of 30805 and it has made a low of 30345.75 if you see the last traded price of the bank nifty it has ended up at 30691 well this doesn't summarize the total picture because if you see the today's low and today's high then that gives you the clear cut idea that how much this index moved today but why do i take this change of whole day because we are selling options and whenever stock doesn't move or any index doesn't move definitely theta gainers are going to take the advantage and they are going to get some money so that's why i see the total change because total change gives you the theta picture as well if it doesn't move definitely on put side and call side premiums are going to decay that's why i take the whole day move now let's see the nifty total open interest picture and find out support and resistance then if you see here put has been sold more than call it means this picture is saying that market is going to go up nifty is going to go up if you see the change in open interest here also put has been sold more than call it means market is going to go up if you see the today's picture that is saying the same thing and also total change in open interest indicates tomorrow's picture as well means what traders are thinking about tomorrow's not only today okay and nifty open interest says weekly picture so here if you see change in open interest of the call is negative how did it happen because whoever made the positions earlier they squared of the positions not only today's position but earlier positions as well whoever trading in nifty they are expecting that nifty will move up well how many points up where will be support and resistance let's find out but before going deep into it let's see the bank nifty picture as well if you see the bank nifty then here call has been sold more than put it means bank nifty is saying that i will go down and if you see the change in open interest picture here also call has been sold more than put so in that case also bank nifty weekly picture is saying that it will go down and bank nifty total change in oi which is today's picture as well as indicates tomorrow's move as well so it is saying that bank nifty is going to go down if nifty is saying i will go up bank nifty is saying i will go down then where market is going to go definitely there will not be a much move in the market let it be on any side but there will not be a much move in the market that's why the analysis is very important now let's do the analysis of open interest distribution and find out support and resistance if you see the nifty open interest distribution then here you can see that support is at this point 13500 so that is support one 
and where is support to well support 2 is at 13400 so that is support 2 this is the support one and where is support 3 support 3 is at 13300 so this is the s3 and support 4 is at 13400 so if you see the support 1 support 2 open interest distribution then that is not huge it means that support might move up means that if you wanted to trade on safe side definitely you should take support 2 instead of the support 1 because tomorrow it might be possible whoever made the position is 13500 they might square off their positions if you see the resistance well resistance is at 13600 that is resistance 1 where is resistance 2 well resistance 2 is at 14000 so if you see here then definitely 13600 is the resistance 1 and 14000 is the resistance 2 well if you see the difference between this resistance 1 and resistance 2 it is huge means point wise it is almost 400 points so in nifty people are still expecting that nifty might go further up but still they are having a lot of confusion that where will be its downside now let's see the change in open interest of nifty and find out support and resistance if you see the open interest distribution means change in open interest distribution then here you can say that support is at 13400 so that is support one if you see support two then it is 13500 that will not be valid actually because support two cannot be above support one so that is false means what is happening actually people are squaring off the position from 13500 and they are making the position is 13400 and where will be where is the resistance well you cannot see here the resistance means today people are expecting the nifty might go way beyond 14000 that's why they were not making the position on this gaining side change in open interest today's picture is indicating that nifty might move up and it also indicates tomorrow's pictures as well so tomorrow also investors and traders are thinking that nifty might go up but now let's find out what bank nifty is saying where bank nifty is going to go so if you see the bank nifty open interest distribution then definitely here you can see that support is at 30,500 that is support one if you see the support two support two is at 30,000 there is not a much difference in open interest contracts of support one and support two and if you see these people whoever are selling are coming up to 30,500 so these people are saying that bank nifty will move down so whoever is making the position on put side they are squaring of the position and they are taking the positions away from the support price but if you see the resistance well resistance is at 31000 so that is r1 well if you see the r2 then there is a huge gap so you don't you shouldn't be worried about r2 as well but if you see the majority of the open interest build up that is happening on resistance side means on call side it means call open interest is increasing it means it is saying that bank nifty will go down well bank nifty is saying i'll go down nifty is saying i'll go up then where market is going to go nothing will happen means even though if there will be a move that move will not be huge move. there will be a little bit move only until unless there is some good news in the market or bad news in the market i am predicting that market will not move much it might move positive or negative but that move will not be a much of the move so now let's see the bank nifty change in open interest and find out how traders traded in bank nifty as well so if you see the today's picture then in today's picture support is at 13100 and resistance resistance is at 31,100 but still whoever is making the position on call side they are coming down means they know the resistance is going to go down means R2 may become R1 tomorrow that's why they are making the positions on the support side so and if you see the call side open interest build up then it is not happening it means bank nifty is indicating that bank nifty might go down today also it was indicating the same but it indicates not only today's future it also indicates that what is going to happen tomorrow as well now let's see the fi and dis cash activity and find out who moved the market but if you see here today dis dominated because dis sold 2666 crore worth of stocks and if you see the fis well fi bought only 2484 so now fis are becoming weaker and dis are dominating that's why market is going to go down because DIs are dominating and they are selling more than what FI could buy. Well, this was the equity activity. Now let's see future and option activities of FI and find out where they are making the positions. But if you see the FI's, FI's position of future and options, then you can see that they are not making any positions. Means like they have squared off all the positions in future. And if you see the options, they are buying, but they are also not buying with that much amount. If you see the 10th of December, they have bought heavily. 
but today they didn't buy that much so maybe they are thinking that market is going to go down so now dis are going to be dominating the market and they are going to take the market down so tomorrow prediction is that nifty or bank nifty will move down even though if it will move up also that will not be a huge move until and unless there is a news in the market which is good news now let's see our final support and resistance if you see the fi di analysis then here in the cash segment fis are buying month ended also they were buying today also they bought if you see the dis they are continuously selling and if you see the future and option picture of fis then today they have sold in future month till date also they were selling but if you see the options they are buying but that effect is getting reduced day by day so definitely it means that market might take reversal tomorrow now let's see bank nifty and nifty support and resistance so if you see here nifty final support is at 13400 and resistance is 13600 well there is a less gap between support and resistance why is it like that because expiry is nearer whenever expiry is nearer support and resistance gap will reduce same goes for bank nifty as well bank nifty if you see then the support is at 13100 and resistance is 31100 well this is my analysis i am making this analysis daily and i am uploading video on youtube based on this analysis i am taking the trade for tomorrow as well so whatever trade i am making I am posting it on my Telegram group as well. I am also posting what is my P&L means profit and loss of each day. So you should definitely follow me on the Telegram. There I am posting lot of good stuff. That's it, guys, for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and consider subscribing this channel.